Welcome everyone to the Anti-Racism Live organized by Peace One Day to mark the International Day for Elimination of Racial Discrimination. We all agree that racism is so unacceptable. There can be no peace without a commitment to a culture of anti-racism. Ending discrimination and inequalities requires today bold action to turn it around and achieve an equal and inclusive future for everyone. And on this very important topic, I am delighted to be in conversation today with Ms. Indo Ibrahim. She will share her experience focusing on anti-racism as a key driver towards a more peaceful, equal and just world. Ms. Indo Ibrahim is a UN SDG advocate and works tirelessly to empower indigenous voices, particularly women, to ensure their inclusion on national and international platform. Indu, please welcome. I'm so happy to have you here today. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Maria. It's a great pleasure to be with you today. Fantastic. So let me now open with the first question. As an SDG advocate, you champion so many of the Sustainable Development Goals. Your work involves human rights, peace, justice, climate action, reducing inequality, just to name a few. So having this uh, uh, work, uh, what are your thoughts on the linkages between these, these issues and how does progress in one area facilitate progress in others? Right, you're completely right. So the SDGs of the Sustainable Development Goals are interlinked. We cannot talk about poverty without talking about hunger. We cannot talk about hunger without talking about gender. And we cannot talk about all without talking about climate change or land or city and all how to do not leave anyone behind. So for me, as I am coming from indigenous communities, so in my peoples, we are interdependent on all of this. So, you know, we depend from the nature. When rain didn't come, so that means we do not have the food. We cannot grow it. And if we didn't, do not grow food, so this is hunger. And that increased poverty and increase also the conflict between communities. So I'm living that in my daily life in my communities. And we cannot achieve all without putting people together as partners. And this is the objective 17. So we cannot also do it without increasing peace and security, the objective 16, access to the justice. So in my daily life from the national, to the international level. We need the interconnection of the SDGs. And that's why it is very important to have these global visions together to implement them at the international level, but more to put them at the local level. So that's why I'm calling for the localizing SDGs to first implement them for the peoples and for the planet. So now as we have uh, so many people, you know, connected today and it's super exciting, you know, from an individual perspective, what individual can do to put an end to racism uh, in their life? I think people need to understand one thing. What is the rest? The rest, we are all human rest. There is not a rest of black, rest of white, rest of uh, yellow or whatever. We are not coming from different planets. We are not sharing the one planet. So those individuals who wanted to fight anti-racism, they have to understand, even you can be black, white, living in any other planet, poor or rich. You can be present or you can be homeless. You have the same blood in your uh, body. And you also need food to eat. You need water to drink. You need air to breathe. So why we are different? why we wanted to create this difference. So they must understand as human race, if one of us disappears, all of us will disappear. We are not here for the eternity. So I really do not understand this concept of who can continue in these centuries. So they must fight for themselves. Soon or later, human race is one. 
you can be in different ecosystem, but we are one. So we have an animal race who are different than us, maybe because we talk. So that's the thing we have to understand. We are all equal. We are equal because we eat. We are equal because we breathe. We are equal because we die one day. So why we have to fight each other? We must come together and be more strong and save our rest and build from our differentiations because it is an opportunity to have all our diversity or our culture to see each other and learn from each other. Let us use it in a positive way. Do not damage our small brain thinking about we are different than each other. Thank you, Indu. I mean, it, it's such a beautiful way to, to close this conversation. And, and thank you for joining us today on this very important day to put an end to racism and to put an end to discrimination, all kind of discrimination everywhere. Uh, this has been an amazing conversation. In a few days, we will have similar conversation at the SDG Global Festival of Action on 20. 5th and 26th of March, and we will continue to talk about climate change, uh, fighting inequalities, gender equality, and, uh, and, and also building new systems that are inclusive. So thank you, everyone. Uh, please continue to fight racism, and, uh, and, and let's put an end to racism everywhere. And thank you for watching us. And let's make 2021 a turning point for people and the planet. Thank you, Indo. Thank you.